everything I ever wanted. You're everything somebody ever wanted. The quote of today says a lot and it doesn't say a lot. person getting the bad news is who said the quote and it was their approach to accepting the bad news it's okay I know Sometimes in life, that's all the option that we have when we get bad news or have bad circumstances that we can't change. They could be temporary, they could be permanent, we all go through them. Sometimes we wind up with health conditions that could be permanent. Sometimes people walk away from us. Sometimes we wind up entirely alone. Could be temporary, could be permanent. Can't go backward. It is what it is. It's easy to accept reality that it is what it is when it is okay to say it's okay. I know. It's not so easy when it's not good to be able to accept reality as it is and just say, it's okay. I know not to resist reality and try to lie to ourselves, deceive ourselves of ugly truths and things that we don't want to face, we're unwilling to face or are just painful realities of existence. And that's one way to look at this quote. Radical acceptance. If you haven't heard of it, it's one of the skills that I was taught in uh, the therapy I went to some years ago. And it is accepting life as life is radically, pretty self-explanatory, right? Radical acceptance means that um, it is what it is what it is. Sky is blue. It's pouring rain. It's winter. It's summer. Gravity exists. The situation is what it is what it is what it is what it is. The pain comes when we begin to analyze it. and then have perceptions and experience emotions about it. Radical acceptance is letting go of that interpretation <laughs> aspect of the occurrence and just accepting a fact for a fact not your feelings about it, not the circumstances surrounding it, but just the, f the fact of the situation. 
it is what it is. It's okay. I know. Accepting reality because the person got negative news and gave this quote regarding their negative news. Another way to take this quote is to say that it's okay and I know. I don't know personally each and every one of you. I don't know personally what each and every one of you is struggling with. What negative thoughts and fears and worries in your mind conjured up that come from somewhere inside of you. Philosophical questions about life and morality and mortality and existential questions that we humans like to terrify ourselves with late at night or real practical financial concerns getting by paycheck to paycheck living out your dream trying to follow your pursuits and, and being stopped at every blockade um, finding a partner that is a good fit for you um, easing your mental health issues there's so many possible problems <laughs> we can all have over the course of life um, terminal illness These are just some of some of the people that I know that I'm listing, throwing out their problems. And I can't help you make those problems go away. Perhaps using radical acceptance, stepping back and just throwing your hands up. <clears throat> it is what it is, what it is, what it is. And no agonizing on my behalf is going to change it. If it's out of your control. And even if it's not out of your control, stepping back for a moment or two, letting it go for a few days, a week, a month, to just give yourself, your heart, your mind, your, your physiologic energies a chance to regroup and stop ruminating over the same dilemma again and again can give you the power to maybe see it from a new perspective and find a, a, a niche in there, a different way to approach things. And those things that are out of your control to just accept it as it, as it is for now because that's how it is. And, no amount of ruminating or brooding on your behalf is going to change it. It's okay not to have all the answers, those existential questions in life. Um, uncertainty, I don't know. And you don't know. Anxieties, I don't know and you don't know. Will you find a partner? Will you be able to quit that nine to five and finish your artistic and, and musical pursuits I don't I don't know I don't know I made a video about uncertainty and serenity both are easier to keep when the waves of the boat are nice and smooth, aren't they? <laughs> and when there's problems, but there's always a problem. Some of them are just more difficult to handle than others. And some things are completely out of your control. 
when something is completely out of your control, you can't make the love of your life come into your life. You can try to become a good quality person that someone would want to befriend and be love <laughs> and approach people in such a way that is um, open and warm and inviting. It might make your chances better. You can work on you. You can't make someone come into your life. Life is a really bumpy road. And I know you're all dealing with a lot. It's different for each of you, but you're all dealing with a lot. And so sometimes just let it go for a little while. If it's out of your hands, try to let it go indefinitely and just prepare yourself to make the situation more um, ready should it come up if there's something that you really want and if there's something that you're really brooding on that's beyond your control like your health and things or you know just you just have to accept it sooner or later and don't don't you know not fight for yourself but don't fight against accepting the facts as they are even if it doesn't feel okay it's okay and I know and also to validate you all being human isn't easy even the the high functioning humans among us are very very human we're all a little messed up we're all a little scared we're all hurting suffering we all have pain and holes within us we all have our problems and our crosses to bear in this life and I want you to know whoever you are whatever your cross, whatever you feel about yourself, words that everyone should hear sooner or later in their life. You are valuable, you are worthy, you are worthwhile, you are lovable, you are important, you are likable, you don't have to have or be or do any particular thing in order to earn people's affection. Whether you do or don't reach your goal, whether you do or don't overcome your issues, is irrelevant to your worth. You are still good enough. You are good enough right here in this moment. Your life does matter. It's okay to not be okay. And I know some of the happiest seeming people on earth are the ones with the biggest cracks in their heart. I may not know you personally, Some of you I do, some of you I don't, but I want you to know, because I'm also human, I know your concerns are valid, your feelings are valid, your happiness is important, you are important, you are good enough regardless how everything turns out regardless what you go through you're strong enough to go through it I know you're going through it whatever your it is because you're here on this planet and we're all guaranteed to have an it or 20 
Eight, nine, 99, got 99 problems. And a good video isn't it. Well, good video is, yeah, not a good video isn't it, because this is not a good video. But basically that um, I know, and it's okay. It's okay, you're okay, you got this. It'll be okay, you'll be okay. You are worthy and you are okay. Your life is okay and it'll all be okay. Whoever needs to hear this, you are lovable, you are worthy. Don't be afraid. It'll be okay and you'll be okay. And I hear you. <laughs> You're not alone. Everyone on the planet is in some sort of pain. You are strong enough, you are capable. It's okay. And I know it's okay. You wouldn't still be here if it wasn't. You got this. Radically accept it, walk away, step away, let it go. And know you're good enough and strong enough and able to handle it. I don't know if that made much sense, but I tried. It's a bad video, but it's okay. And I know it's a bad video. But I really do give a crap about people. And whoever happens to watch this, yes, it was made for you. Good morning. Goodbye. You're okay. You're okay in my book. It says it right there in my book by YouTube.